Inside Tennis with the Cause is brought to you by Firkins Automotive. Find it at Firkins. Hi, tennis fans. The Cause here with another half hour inside the world of tennis. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. Your summer season pass from interest in payments is at Perkins Mitsubishi. Get 0% APR for 72 months, plus no payments for 90 days on new Mitsubishis. Like the 2018 Outlander, Outlander Sport, and Eclipse Cross. Expect more, save more. Find it at Perkins. Whatever you do, don't let the summer of Jeep at Perkins pass you by. New 2018 Compass, zero down, sign and drive, $199 a month. Or new 2018 Wrangler, zero down, sign and drive, just $349 a month. Expect more, save more. Find it at Perkins. I'm David Martier, and I love tennis, and it's awesome! You're inside tennis with the cuts! Hi, tennis fans. Terrific as always to be with you. Hope that you had a wonderful 4th of July week and are enjoying the Wimbledon Championships. Oh, was it refreshing to see our Suncoast friend Ryan Smith and Brittany Tagliarini leading the Florida delegation of Special Olympians. At the Special Olympics USA Games in Seattle. Largest delegation here behind the host state of Washington. 234 members, 129 athletes. And look at the big smile there from Brittany Tagliarini. First picked up a racket at age 17. She has flourished in 11 years since then, both on and off the court. In 2016, she won gold in the Orlando United Doubles Tennis Open as part of the unified pair, and she was the only Special Olympics participant in the event. She's found that her focus in tennis helps with her sensory and visual issues. Congratulations to Sophia Edwards of Nokomis, winning the USTA All-American College Combine at the USTA National Campus in Orlando. Great showing by several Suncoast players at the recently completed USTA Bobby Curtis Junior State Singles Championships held at the USTA National Campus in Orlando. Sophia Edwards led the way in the girls 18s. Sarasota's Nikki Yanez in the girls 14s. Bradenton's Anastasia Saisova in the girls 16s. Bradenton's Victoria Osugwe in the girls 12s. Two Sarasota competitors in the boys' 18s, Theo Weingar and Micah Browswell. Bradenson's Thomas Navarro, boys' 16s. Bradenson's Philip Dell in the boys' 14s. And Sarasota's Andrew Salou in the boys' 12s. Great going, Suncoast Junior players. So what's on the show today? Well, we have another great one for you. You will catch the action of the boys and girls 12s, 14s, and 16s at the IMG Discovery Open. You will share the emotion of the USPTA Florida Past President's Tribute and the USPTA Florida Recognition Achievements. And you will get to know the rapping tennis coach Ravi Patel. So let's get it launched with the IMG Discovery Open. IMG added another major global junior tennis event to its calendar of international tournaments. 
What is IMG and Nick Bolacheri so proud to offer its student athletes? Well, I think that IMG will uh, continue doing new things. That that's what's made IMG what it is today. You know, the, the, you have nine or ten sports now, and you have all sorts of new buildings and new hotels. So I think that uh, what IMG is doing is staying ahead of everybody else, and that's how you stay number one, guys. IMG is great, and it keeps growing too. So I mean, especially like. The football stadium wasn't there when I was six. That's grown. The tennis has grown a lot. I mean, I've known the coaches for forever. They're all great. Uh, brings out a lot of players, very talented players, uh, some of the top in the U.S., and tough competition. Uh, the people, uh, the atmosphere, the courts, uh, the player, the city, you know, so. Different coaches and uh, this high level of tennis. The atmosphere, uh, the courts, uh, the city is very good, uh, and um, the players. Well, I do think that we find the balance uh, in terms of uh, prioritizing academics as well as athletics. I think that some schools prioritize academics really well, but then they falter to find that balance. Um, and I think the opposite can be said as well, and I think we strike a, a very fine balance between athletics and academics, and our goal is to try to do them both at a very high level, uh, and we don't really want to compromise one for the other. For me, I'd like to see the competitive matches and make sure that everyone is in a good competitive environment. We also want to aspire to play in college. Some of them will want to play uh, professionally. And so for me to be here at IMG after 37 years of my own program in Nebraska, it's just an honor to be here. And we see players of every different level. And the one thing they all have in common is they've got drive, they've got passion, they've got desire. And that's what we're looking for when we're recruiting. Well, Patrick, I think you have the best job of the week coaching the 14s, boys and girls, getting them ready for the Discovery Open. It was, it, you're right, I did have the best job this week coaching the 14-year-olds. I think that they're in an age where they can really comprehend the strategy aspect of the game. It's now they're beginning to understand it's not just forehands and backhands. So we worked a lot throughout the week on strategy, making sure they understand why they're doing certain things or things to look out for. And it's, it's really uh, rewarding when you see them now put into practice during their matches. Yeah, we worked with the athletes on four, four key strategies of how to use breathing in order to excel at their tennis. So the first one was really focusing on how we can use the breath to calm ourselves down in the moments of pressure. The second one was to use the breath to get ourselves going, to rev ourselves up. The third one was to let things go when we make a mistake and to be able to move on. And the last one is to use rhythm, to use our breath to control our rhythm out on the court. I think just being able to play kids from all over the world and, and in their mind they don't know who they're playing so they don't have a judgment. A lot of times kids play the same kids over and over so what an opportunity for them to have no judgment come out here and I was super impressed with the professionalism of the, the kids from all over the world. The way they handled themselves, win or losing the points, you could not even tell. Rick, the Discovery Open the mission statement that you came in with this event? Discovery Open. It is all about what it takes to be discovered and then dis really learning what you're discovering about yourself throughout that process. The kids seem to really enjoy meeting other players from different parts of the globe. That was number one when I was asking them what they enjoyed about it. They also enjoyed there was a social exchange. In addition to finding opponents, they found some new friends here. Oh, yes, that's, that's a great point. I mean, the, the cultural experience, we're, we're such a melting pot here at the academy. And, you know, part of the experience here for the kids is getting outside of their comfort zone, meeting new people, speaking another language. You know, everybody has to kind of be on the same level when they get here. So the cultural, the social side is just as important as the athletic development side. Perkins family, you've been with them from day one. They've been promoting tennis from day one, Nick Balvacheri. Well, I think they help with a lot of local events. Whatever you do, don't let the summer of Jeep at Perkins pass you by. New 2019 Cherokees, zero down, sign and drive, $2.59 a month. Or new 2018 Grand Cherokees, zero down, sign and drive, just $2.99 a month. Expect more, save more. Find it at Perkins.
Whatever you do, don't let the summer clearance event at Perkins pass you by. Drive new 2018 Dodge Challenger, only $169 a month. Or a new 2018 Ram Pickup, zero down, sign and drive, $259 a month. Expect more, save more. Find it at Perkins. Hi, I'm James Blake. You're inside tennis with the cause. Tennis fans, thanks for staying with us. The extraordinary dedication of the USPGA Florida pros is what gets the game and keeps the game growing. Many Florida leaders were recently recognized. Congratulations to Michelle Krause, USPGA Florida Pro of the Year, and Laurel Oak Country Club Director of Tennis. Ty Braswell, winning the USPTA Florida Sarasota Pro of the Year. There is a real buzz tonight, yeah. and the buzz is there couldn't be a more touching evening. Yeah. Blazers galore. Yeah. How great of a feeling was that to be getting all the past presidents together? It was, it was a Hall of Fame night for everybody. It was. It was. It was an amazing evening. It was about celebrating the past and embracing the past, and I think it was very special. And uh, it did exactly what I was hoping it was to do, which was uh, uh, to, to bring out um, love and passion of the organization. So it, it, it did what it was meant to do. And the sizing was amazing on the fits of the Blazers. <laughs> Taylor made. Taylor made, and the USPTA logo crest right there, then gold. It was gorgeous. It, it made them shine as well as they should. And they were a big part of this organization, and I wanted to make sure uh, that it was shown that way. Try to share your feelings uh, and your emotions and your words about tonight. Well, I'm obviously very humbled. Um, in 1982, I got involved with the USPTA and uh, devoted, you know, many, many years and developed great friendships um, and worked very hard on trying to make the Florida division the best that it could be. And uh, so it was a, a labor of love, you know, basically. And uh, I just retired. Uh, you know, I turned 70. I just retired. and. And uh, looking forward to doing some more stuff with the USPTA in my retirement. And uh, just very humbled and uh, so happy to see all my friends who came after me and before me who've made the USPTA Florida Division such a great, great organization. Well, I wouldn't do it, but I am with a corny guy, so I'll have a corny lead on this. Where there is a will, there is a way. way. Yes, will, sir. Yes, sir. you set the way for the USPTA Florida for decades, two years serving as president, lifetime serving as contributor. What did this evening mean to you? Cause I got to tell you, this is probably one of the greatest evenings I have ever had with the USPTA. To be with all the past presidents or good friends of mine, to honor Spike Gurney, okay, to see John Joyce go into the Hall of Fame, it doesn't get any better. It does not get any better. Um, it, was, it was great to be able to meet them and thank them in person for all of the groundwork that they laid and all of the heavy lifting that they did for all of us that followed, but it was very emotional for me. Well, first of all, I think Florida is a very uh, strong, aggressive division. We tend to sort of uh, start a lot of programs that other divisions don't start. The main thing is I just take my hat off to my board of directors and uh, had, a, had a great shipload of mates on board. To be on that stage with those people who were on there, they were all mentors, people who I admire throughout the years, and to be on that stage with them and to have this evening means a, a tremendous amount to me, and I think it meant uh, to show the, the membership that it is a great night for what, what, where we've gotten to. We don't get there by accident. We've gotten there through all these people's hard work, and I, I was just honored to be on the stage with those people. 
Well, I have to tell you, I was a bit overwhelmed because when you're on the stage with that many people who are such an important part of Florida USPTA, to see them all together at one time, it was it was just extraordinary. Uh, and I have to say, sharing the stage with Spike Gurney, who is such a longtime friend and has been such an important part of, of the USPTA in Florida and nationally, and our living treasure, Ter uh, Ted Withall, who, in addition to being one of our early national presidents, was a friend of mine when I worked at the Boca Resort. I, when I first came to Florida, there wasn't too much going on. In fact, I think I started this uh, uh, section, and, uh, and we're going to keep it going and make it bigger than ever. It's a wonderful, wonderful crowd tonight, I tell you. I, I've never seen anything like it. It's uh, such spontaneity, such, such uh, love for the game and love for each other. Absolutely. Great to see you, Ted. Thank you, Thanks sir. Thanks for all your, your great contributions to the game. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It Thank was a you, pleasure sir. to do it. Well, you know, I, I, I thought about it that evening and seeing the history of the USPTA live in action, so to speak, you know, from a probably 30 or spanning 30 or 35 years. It was great, uh, you know, with Ted Withall being 100 years old and Bob Sassano, and then most of the rest of the folks were people that, that you and I have kind of grown up and around in, in Florida, so it was awesome. What an honor to get all you guys together. Because it was great, and, and it's, it's the, the leaders of tennis, presidents or not, it's, it's, it's people that have a brotherhood and a sisterhood of supporting tennis, and this is something that I've enjoyed being a part of for years, and, and to come and spend some time with some of the, the leaders of our industry and celebrate our sport, that's what it's all about. Fantastic. The nice thing about it was that uh, we were all able to reminisce spend a little time together and certainly celebrate a lot of the good things that have happened to the organization and we're really happy that today it's the guys are doing a lot better job than we did well so that's only good. half true so anyway <laughs> you set the stage and everybody made a major contribution to this organization thank you very much thank we really much. appreciate it from goosebumps up and down my back I realized that I was standing among some pretty spectacular people in our industry. So clearly I was humbled and, and excited to be there at the same time. It, uh, it was extremely kind and generous of the Florida Division to recognize all the past presidents. On stage with all your colleagues, it was a reunion. Oh yes, very much so. It was real, real nice. It was real fun to see everybody, you know, as well as seeing some of the younger guys that are coming into the organization. And Jason Gilbert did a great job putting the whole program together. Fondest memories of when you were in office, looking back. Uh, I think the, probably winning the division of the year, you know, during my, my tenure was good. I mean, it wasn't because of me, but because of the whole organization, the whole board and stuff like that. Uh, doing some stuff with our district presidents that hadn't been done before, having a little retreat is one of the things that I'm kind of proud of. What was the brotherhood like tonight? Yeah, sensational night. Everything from people in their 70s, 80s, and apparently almost 100 tonight all the way down to the early 20s. It was fantastic. It's Getting everybody together was, was a special night for sure. The Blazer. What a nice touch that is. Yeah. And how proud is everybody to slip that on his shoulders? Yep. I, I, I handed off to Paula, and that was super special for Paula Sheb, who's been on the national board and everything else. It's, it's, it's great, and we all passed it down. I liked a little, a little like Augusta, kind of. like it was, it was pretty cool. Oh, what an honor it is to get with this guy. John Joyce, we were together when you were national USPTA pro. Now you're into the USPTA Florida Hall of Fame. Has a nice ring to it, Hall of Famer Joyce. What did this evening mean to you? It wasn't an ordinary evening. You had the general manager, you had your family, the staff here. You share everything you do with your family, they share it with you, John. What was it like? 
This was great. To have them here, my sister and her uh, significant Ken and all my children, it was a great thing. It really was. And uh, I think that USPTA did just a, a wonderful job thinking outside the box by getting all the presents together and doing what they did for us tonight, honoring Ted Withall and having the Spike Gurney Award. It was wonderful. It's been a, it was a, just a great evening. John, you are a contributor. You're a giver. Tonight, you contributed to the life of these young pros. You gave them a few messages out there. Share one that you were very proud to share with them. I just think the big thing is, is they can never rest on yesterday, Dave. They've, you've got to always do something better the next day. Um, always be bringing something to the table. What you did yesterday was yesterday. It's a new day. You've grown the game as strongly as anybody in the industry. But it was a special night because these are your friends. These yep. are your people. They're your family members. Yep. And they chose you as pro of the year. Yep. Share your feelings on that, Michelle. Yeah, it's thanks, Dave. It's an incredible, incredible honor. Florida is such a strong division, such a strong tennis state. And to think that I was selected as the best pro in the state division just means means the absolute world to me and it's it's a little bit of a dream come true because if there was one award that i would really like to have this was this was that award you are known in the industry for energy galore is there another activity even inside the world of tennis that would fulfill you as much as cardio tennis I, I have been asked that question. It's a good question it's a good, to it's ask you. It's a good you. question. And being very, you know, honest, cardio tennis is my baby. And I, I, I ask myself the same question. And I just don't think that there's anything that would quite get me as excited and as passionate as cardio tennis. Honoring Love Serving Autism with the Star Award. It, it really means a lot that the USPTA recognizes our efforts and it's given me a new purpose in life. When I grew up, I was a tennis player and I love tennis and I still do, but it means a lot to me now that I can use the sport to teach children and to impact their lives. Well, I'm truly honored and uh, just this the award that it means, it means a ton to me. Um, definitely a lot of hard work went into it and um, definitely it's just an amazing honor. Uh, coaching high school tennis keeps you energized because their energy is just off the charts and uh, you just never know what to expect with them. What does this award tonight mean to you, Mike? Well, this award meant a lot. Um, the challenges that we faced throughout the year, uh, this was for 2017, so it was for my time with Gateway Charter in Fort Myers, Florida. Uh, we had a very, very successful year and it wasn't for what I did, it was what the players did, and and they just did a tremendous job, and uh, they just did fabulous, and, and this award is really for them. Matt, you shared the Boca West love and family relationship about John Joyce tonight. Thank you. How big of an honor was that for you? Oh, tremendous. I mean, the, when we heard about this uh, uh, induction happening a couple of months ago, uh, we were just all taken back and, and uh, you know we love John and what John does to the Boca West community I mean as you know Dave it's been going on for over two decades and it, it's a love fest you know John wakes up every morning saying how do I make today better So many of you have commented on the rapping tennis coach. So here's an interview we did with Ravi. A college boy's dream. You start playing your college tennis in Tampa at the University of South Florida. You go to Drake 
in Des Moines, Iowa. After you arrive, all of a sudden they are in the top 15 D1 in the country. Now you're on the tour coaching. What's it like? Well, uh, since February, I've been uh, on the road uh, with uh, my player Alok Kudratsova from Russia. And uh, we're on the mo road most weeks and um, playing combination of a challenger and the main tour stuff. Um, and it's uh, pretty hectic, but it's a beautiful place now. We're at the US Open, uh, Flushing Meadows, can't complain a bit right now. It's buzzing uh, on the court, off the court. It's set up really well, so um, it's living up to everything. Won the doubles yesterday, so we're through to the next round tomorrow. You played for Don Barr at the University of South Florida. You played for Davidson Kozlowski, my son, at Drake. Davidson uh, has been great to me since I arrived at Drake um, after being at USF with Don Barr. It was also fantastic. And uh, Davidson taught me a lot on and off the court. Pleasure to meet you through him and uh, spend time with the family. So um, it's been an honor playing for Drake and uh, love to represent them when I can. Uh, on the tour, sporting the clothes when I can. Um, so thanks to Drake uh, and everything Davidson's done for me and yourself. We are excited to see your career out there on the Blossom. Thanks, Ravi. Thank you very much, Cos. Take care of yourself. Pleasure. All right. Thanks. Thank you. you know, this is this is what tennis is about. We have fun. We fight hard, and we're just trying to instill good sportsmanship, uh, good ethics, uh, play fair, play hard, and uh, let's be friends on and off the court. Hey junior tennis players want to compete in a high level international event for ages 10 and under to 15 and under. Hosted by two time Australian Open champion Johan Creek, then plan to join in the global tennis action at the Creek Cup by 10 Pro Global Junior Tour at the magnificent PGA National Resort and Spa in beautiful Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, August 6th through 12th. So you come to tournaments to play? You'll get it at the Creek Cup, where each participant is guaranteed four singles matches. Oh, when you want some superb, lead up pre-tournament world-class training with two-time slam winner Johan Creek. Join his workouts the week before. For more information about the camp, visit JohanCreekTennis.com or call 561-814-3655 to register for the Creek Cup. Visit Pro Globe US at Live NL. Johan and I will be looking for you at the Creek Cup at PGA National. Tennis fans, great to have you with us on Inside Tennis with the Cause. We love our sponsors and you will too. Stop by and see them. Until then, remember in tennis scoring, love means nothing, but love of the game means everything. Keep alive your love of the game. Love you, tennis fans. And we'll see you right here every Saturday, 1230 on SNN. Inside Tennis with the Cons has been brought to you by Ferkins Automotive. Find it at Ferkins. Your summer season pass from interest in payments is at Ferkins Mitsubishi. Get 0% APR for 72 months, plus no payments for 90 days on new Mitsubishis. Like the 2018 Outlander, Outlander Sport, and Eclipse Cross. Expect more, save more. Find it at Ferkins.